inspired me sa pagsulat ng Just a Stranger. I think matitrace ko yan dun sa mga nakikita kong video sa social media, yung mga kumakalat na nahuhuli silang nakakaroon ng relationship na illicit tapos pinapahiya sila ng legal na ano ka relasyon. Naisip ko lang na andali kasing i-judge ng mga ganun na masama yung third party. Parang iniisip ko lang what if there's a more human story sa mga ganun. At first glance talaga, talaga makikita mo na uh, third party siya, uh, nag-cost siya ng ano, pagkasira ng isang relationship. Pero I don't buy na ganun lang. I mean, meron ganun na masama talaga. Pero meron din naman siguro ano lang, out of pagkahanap ng love. Kasi everyone wants love, diba? So I think ganun lang, in-explore ko lang yung idea na ganun. Na baka naman may other side yung mga ganung story. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Just imagine Jose Rizal walking in the same building as you guys are in right now. The very next day... I've been cheating on my husband with a man half my age. 19 na ako. 19 ka pala. Marami pang kaya ang gawin ng isang 19 year old. Tulad ng ano. Ganito kasi yung naging process ng Just a Stranger. Nabalitaan ko from Viva that Anne wanted to do something like ano na parang older woman, younger guy kind of material. Gumawa ako ng story with an in mind na talaga. It's actually heartbreakingly beautiful and um, I think that's what people have to look out for. It's a script that I really, really wanted to do. We brought up some names and napunta yung decision namin kay Marco because parang relatively bago pa lang siya sa Viva and gusto namin ng fresh face, gusto namin ng parang may innocence and he's one of the future leading men of Viva, so we wanted to give him a shot. Nung una ko nabahasa yung script, first of all, uh, sobrang ganda ng script. Pero ang mas naano ako dun sa mga scenes, yung mga love scenes, yung mga ganyan. Parang dun ako na, whoa, okay, uh, first time kong gagawin to ah. And uh, it's with, of course, with uh, Anne Curtis pa. So medyo nung una parang, kaya ko ba to? Am I fit for this? Pero okay naman, I just took a leap forward and sabi ko na, you know what? Let's do it. Hindi talaga star factor yung pinrioritize namin. Of course, they're already stars. Pero talagang art talaga yung nangibabaw in the sense na they should be able to do the scenes. Kumbaga, hindi mag adjust yung script sa kanila. As actors, sila yung mag-a-adjust sa script. Ganun ang naging approach namin. And I'm very happy na si Anne at si Marco, they were really professionals dito. So, ano lang. Masaya lang ako na nakakuha ako ng artista na ganun ang kanilang mentality sa kanilang craft. May is someone who I'd have to say is always looking for love. Love from her husband, love from her friends. And surprisingly, love from someone new that she didn't know she was looking for. Wow, I didn't know I was looking for love until I found you, Deva. Right? She's someone who is married and she knows that what she's doing is wrong, but she chooses to fight for what she really feels. The way I presented Mesa just a stranger is meron kasi siyang physical condition. It's called FMS or fibromyalgia syndrome. Imagine mo na lang, masakit lagi yung katawan mo for no reason at all. Kahit maglakad ka lang, hindi mo kaya. So, ganun ako ginawa yung character niya. And then at the same time, meron siyang husband sa kwento na hindi masyadong nami-meet yung kanyang needs. Then here comes another guy na very accommodating. Kumaga, parang napunan niya yung void na wala kay, ano, kay May. I think people would be able to relate to May in a sense that she would go all out when she finally finds that love that really sparks the kind of happiness she has always been looking for. Even if it means that she loses everything, she will fight for it because she knows that that's how much this love means to her. Anne is an intelligent actress. So, pag binasa niya yung script, she will have a lot of suggestions and most of them make sense. She will suggest details that can be added or even omitted from the original, all to make the final product uh, better than how I imagine it. She brought herself, whatever that is, it's a, ano yun, parang mysterious, yun, it's an X factor. And the love scenes, she did them without any, you know, without any hesitation. 
Ang sarap lang na dinala niya yung professionalism niya, the big star that she is. Sino pa ako para para humingi pa ng more, di ba? You know, you're just like Febby. Ang hilig ng ganun yung ulo ko. Febby? Dapat pinaalam ko muna sa'yo ng girlfriend ako bago nangyari lahat ng to. It's okay. Di lang naman ikaw yung in a relationship. This is my beloved. Isn't she the prettiest? Daddy. Do you feel like you're in a trapped marriage? Eh, lagi ka naglalasing. Why are we even still together? We obviously don't love each other. That's how marriages are. Kung talagang kasal ka na, bakit mo ko sinamahan na nasa Lisbon tayo? Kung ano man pinapantasya mo, tama na. What happened in Lisbon was a one-time thing. I just want to be friends. Yeah, right. Si Jericho, very childish siya. Immature pa siya in a sense na... Kasi bata pa siya eh, and lalo na compared to May. Si May na talagang, when you see her, talagang mature na, talagang napakaganda, di ba? Pero itong si Jericho, syempre, at first, magugustuhan niya si May for her physical appearance. Doon naman lagi nagsistart, di ba? Pero as the scenes go by, as the movie progresses, makikita mo na kung gaano kamahal na rin pala ni Jericho, si May. So, doon magugulat yung mga tao na parang at first akala nila si Jericho na parang this kid na parang alam mo yun yung uh, gusto lang niya mag-enjoy wala naman siyang ibang uh, napakita na ito pero as the movie goes by makita niyo yung puso niya and how he takes care of me Ang formation ng karakter ni Jericho is a representation of what she misses sa kanyang current relationship or you know the things that she yearns for while in one relationship na ano na eh legally bound na because it's a marriage di ba? So yun Pinorm ko lang, ano ba ang mga kahilingan ng karakter ni May? So, there's this central character that should represent those. And yun nga, yun kay Marco. Well, si Jericho, very passionate siya. Especially with May. Um, pinapakita talaga niya kay May kung ano yung na-feel niya, hindi niya tinatago. Like, for example, if he's happy, ipapakita niya. If he's sad, ipapakita niya. If he's disappointed, ipapakita niya. So, he's very transparent. Kasi ito ba, pag naman talaga pag medyo pagbata ka pa eh. Parang, wala kang pang tinatago. So, yun yung maganda kay Jericho because he's really honest with his feelings. Kapag uh, nasasaktan siya, sasabihin niya kay May. So, yun, yun yung maganda pa na trait na kay Jericho. Kasi si Marco, kapag nakasama mo yan, meron pa rin siyang certain degree of innocence na hindi mo maalis sa kanya, which is very perfect for the role of Jericho. As opposed to yung husband ni May dito sa kwento na parang ang dami na pinagdaanan, very wise na, very intelligent to the point of cynicism. Ayun, ang galing ng pagka-contrast na ginawa ni Jericho or ni Marco doon sa karakter ng husband ni May, played by Edu Manzano. Okay, ayun po lang. Basta ko malapit ka, nagkisi na, tapos mag-align. Okay, go. Oo. Very different. Like I felt like in Aurora, I had a few scenes with him, but I didn't really, really get to work with him as uh, as I did here in Just a Stranger. Um, I really got to know him as a leading man here and see what he could do as an actor. It's a whole new experience for me. Especially working with Anna, ito magkaibang job na, diba? And makita mo talaga yung professionalism niya, kung gano'n siya ka katali ka trabaho. So, yun yung isa sa mga na-appreciate nila kaya. Very matulungan nila ito. But I think kasi si Marco, meron siyang sort of intimidation kay Anna because she's Anna again. Ganun ang naging dynamic sa kanila mag-ate. Uh, in fact, a lot of the scenes such as a stranger, hindi romance ang hinihingi ko sa kanila. Hinihingi ko sa kanila, either they act like Uh, big sister, little brother, or mother and son. Ganun. Except the sex scenes, of course. <laughs> Pero the rest, ganun. And ang tingin mo dito kay Marco, anak mo siya. Hindi lover. So, makikita niyo yun pag pinanda niyo yung pelikula. Ganun ang dynamics. Welcome to your only scene for the day. With no abs. <laughs> With no abs. Pili mo makikita ito. Makikita ito. Ito. May issue sa mga interior design. Anak mo na niyo. Ito. Si Direct Jason Paul, ang maganda sa kanya, alam na niya kung anong shot niya or alam na niya kung parang na-visualize niya before niya pa i-shoot kung ano yung gusto niyang kuhanan. Amazing! He's so easy to work with, which really did surprise me. Like, 
he knows what he wants and when you give him what he wants he's okay Look, we're going to forget each other after a few days. And we'll be strangers again in no time. Forget each other? Ano ka ulyanin? We really wanted to shoot a movie in a European country na hindi pa nasusutan ng Pilipino. Portugal is one of those countries. It so happened na kapag nasa Portugal ka, well, it's Europe, no? It's beautiful, it's cinematic. Sa kwento, you just need a location where you can set the first acquaintance of the two characters para mas maging ano, memorable yung moment na first time sila nakita. Marami makakarelate sa mundo nito hindi lang yung mga ka-age ko or yung ka-age ni Anne, but kahit yung mga lola, lolo natin na naranasan to before, di ba? This can be an eye-opener for other people, especially for the kids, to realize na, ah, mali pala yung ginagawa natin. I think when people watch, they'll find out that sometimes when you love and sometimes when you make mistakes, there will be a price to pay for it. Siguro what sets Just a Stranger apart sa mga tinatawag natin kabit movies ay yung fact na hindi ito dominated by uh, hysterical catfights, mga, mga sassy na la, palitan ng mga dialogue. It's really very human. We try to make it as truthful as possible. Hindi porke third party yung character ni Andy dito ay masama siya. So it's more like humanizing the so-called third party. It's for the people who have gone all out with their love, even if it means it ruins everything that's around them. Sa mga nagmahal na nawasak yung buhay nila. <laughs> Unang-una, maraming matututunan kay May sa character ni Ann, sa character ko, which is Jack Jack, and sa character ni Sir Edu. It's nice na marami kang makukuhang aral sa movie na to. Hindi na siya yung normal na iniisip ng ibang tao na, ah, it's a normal movie about cheaters, but it's know, more than that. There will always be someone who will have something to say about it. But before you judge it, I think you should watch the film and then give us your two cents. Um, because what we have for Just a Stranger, we're bringing something else to the table. And you'll see that twist. You'll see how this story is actually beautiful. We're gonna pay for this. 